Pensacola, Florida. Former Escambia County Sheriff David Morgan spent thousands of public tax dollars to order a life-size bronze statue of himself last year before the end of his final term in office. Current Sheriff Chip Simmons called the 6-foot 4-inch statue, which arrived last week at the Sheriff's office, a brash narcissistic waste. You don't make a statue of yourself, Simmons said Wednesday. And you don't use tax dollars to do it. Morgan defended the decision, saying it was not that big of a deal. I was the sheriff at the time, Morgan told the news journal. I think people may be wanting to make more of this than it really is. It's just a statue of me saluting the men and women of the Escambia County Sheriff's Office and the first responders that died on active duty. It's that simple. The statue of Morgan was one of two statues that the former sheriff paid for out of the sheriff's office's general fund at a cost of $75,000 for both. He intended them to stand directly in front of the main entrance of the agency's headquarters as part of its monument to fallen officers. I have no words for this, but I have zero intention of placing this thing in front of our building, Simmons said. The other statue is of former ECSO Lieutenant Jason Potts and AK-9. Potts led the sheriff's office's K-9 unit during Morgan's tenure as sheriff and has since retired. Ordering documents obtained by the news journal show that both Morgan and Potts posed to have their likenesses photographed from 360-degree angles. The photos were mailed to the design company so that its workers would have images off which to model the life-size bronze replicas. It's a likeness of me, Morgan said. They took photos, and they should have one of the canine handler Lieutenant Potts, him and his dog. And they're for the memorial that's held each year. Morgan said he ordered the statues two years ago, but they were delayed because of COVID-19. The ordering documents and receipts, however, show otherwise. Morgan's handwritten signature appears on a document specifying the terms of the deal with Randolph Rose Collection Design Studio for the statues. Directly next to his signature, Morgan handwrote the date, April 20, 2020, and the words, good to go. Doing bronze statues are pretty common, Morgan said. Go to the Florida Sheriff's Association. They have several of them out front. They're depicting deputies and sheriffs and first responders. Simmons said the only people at the sheriff's office who knew of statues when he took office in January were Morgan's former administrative assistant and the office's financial director. He said he does not blame either of them for his predecessor's decisions. Simmons said he first learned about the order for the statues in May when he was preparing for his first annual memorial ceremony for fallen deputies and was looking into the possibility of adding, generic, non-modeled statues to the memorial for fallen officers.